Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius. Last we left off, I had gone through Aldia's Keep and decided, you know what? I'm going to continue here from, like, wait, 64. I can't use a spell? Oh, so this is what it feels like. Sorry, when I, when I pumped my freaking souls up to 60, I, I kind of expected to be able to use all the spells, but it appears not. Anyways, so I'm too excited to continue, or to stop playing right now, so I'm going to continue playing. Because I like this area. It's a nice area. You know, safe for all the death. Death is not nice. Death is not a good thing. What would possibly inflict the death on me? Well, this guy, for example. Not much of a problem, but he can fl fling you off of the uh, bridge if you're not careful and let him explode. Also, I hear them. Oh, that's right. This area. So, this area is one of those interesting areas in that you can farm it without actually farming it. Oh, hey. Oh, no. A cup. Really? Oh, it's that bastard lizard in front of freaking Castle Dren Lake all over again. Anyways, so the big thing about this place is that there's dragons. And I think they work much like the... Nope, nope, nope. Yes, don't target the dragon. Target all the little lizards that are hanging around the dragon. So I think this guy's got pr these guys have pretty much the same stats as the guardian dragon that we just fought, except that they can't fly around and cling to a cage and all that fun noise. So you just got to be careful not to get stomped on, and then kaboosh. Yeah. I think there's like one dragon in area, and they can drop plentiful amount of souls. Can. I don't know. Really haven't, uh... Again, it's been a while since I've been through this area in the first place, so... <laughs> also, that Dragon's Tooth, same weapon as the one wielded by Havel. Havel the Rock. Because Havel liked slaying dragons. So a lot of these areas, too, also include these high grounds, which you can just roll off, jump down, and, you know, freaking cleave a dragon in half. Which is risky, because the second that you land is the second that you are once again vulnerable to being attacked by said dragon. Now, once I slay everything here, which, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm gonna slay everything that I can. I... There, freaking hey. I'm gonna slay everything that I can, and pick up everything that I can, because I love dragon slaying. Yes. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something in the first place, but I'm trying to remember what I was saying. Oh, I remember what I was saying. So this place is uh, one of those places where you can farm Twinkling Titanite and Petrified Dragon Bone. How you do so is you go through the area, pick everything up, and I think one of the things that you can pick up is a bonfire aesthetic. Aesthetic. Am I saying it right now? So, all you'd need to do is go back to that first bonfire that was in this place, use the bonfire aesthetic, and everything will be new game plus, but everything will also be, uh, have came back, which is cool, but I don't need to do that because, uh, as far as I know, I'm going to just be using Vingarl's armor throughout the rest of this playthrough, <coughs> and all that's already been plus fived, as well as my Moonlight Sword, so... I don't need to. Other than that, the only thing that you probably want to know is that you can range bitch these guys, something fierce. It's just, uh, this particular one is difficult to range bitch, as I like to call it. Because what you gotta do is you gotta stay out of their fiery breath range, too. Which again can be a right pain because, you know. For some reason, their fire breath likes to go through things like solid walls. Oh, hey. 
a twinkling titanite and a petrified something. Nice. All right. I gotta figure out a better weapon for killing these things. Cause look at that. I swing, swang, swung, like five times. The sucker. Oh, you despawning son of a bastard. Oh well. I'll deal. I'll just come back through here at another time and off camera. Cause again, all these guys drop are the freaking stones. I don't know how the hell I don't hit those guys. Maybe I'll use the broadsword. Like, I got the broadsword simply because, you know, I might need a faster weapon at some point or another, but I've not needed it. I've even gotten on to uh, slaying that first one that's Aldi. Not Aldi. What am I thinking? Is there two dragons? No, there's just the one. Hassan Chop! That hurt like a bitch. Okay. Okay, that's I was about to say, is this one flying? Does this one just take all the rules that I just said about this area and screw them all over? But no. I am fortunate in that fact. As he's getting all pissed off and you can just kill Ha freaking za, I am a marble. Ooh, what's over here? Besides more things that piss me off and disappear. It's like the one reason why I also come here is just, you know, dragon slaying and getting those things. There's quite a few of them. Ring of the Evil Eye. Oh yeah, that's the one that when you kill a thing, you get some health back. Which is awesome. But I don't need. Is it this way you need to go? I think it's this way that I need to go. Yes, because this is the quick way back to the first bonfire there. Man, such a short area, but man do I love the dragon thing in it. Is there anything actually here besides just the little shortcuts that lead you back all the way to the beginning? Um, there is one of these, uh, one of these that you can hit. Like, you fly down it, and you time it just right, and you can get some of the items that are down there. But, if you miss them, well, you're pretty much dead. Because you fall for all eternity. Okay, let's see if they re-put that back in. So, in the original demo of this, I guess, there would be a dragon that comes down, snags the bridge, and flings you to your doom because, you know, it's a rope bridge. So, you know, dead. Now we're at the dragon shrine. Holy crap, you guys don't know how I... you again? You're small. Hi! Well, I am the Moonlight Warrior. Self-proclaimed, but still. Peace grants me the illusion of them. Okay. For my fools who stay young for love, and the world is grounded in you. Are we singing Until sticks? Until a curse touches the flesh, we are bound by the skill. And as true as the dove that turns within me, Also, you can actually kind of see his tiny face. All men trust fully the illusion of life. Ah, oh, jeez. But is this so long? A construction of the side, and yet... A one for the wounds of the skin Did you just typo? No, no. I am intend to chat with you. Spoilers, wonderful forms of No. I, I was just going to, like... Continue this. No. Oh, good. We got a name for the ugly tree now. Lol. I just gave you an answer. I'm doing that. Ah, 
I really have come to hate that guy. Just saying. Alright, gonna quickly sit. And then continue on my Mary, because it is actually pretty short to this point. I thought that it was going to take me a lot longer to take on the dragons. Because I do loves me slim dragon slaying. As I've said in infinity. Is that a word? In the affinity? But unfortunately, well, not really that unfortunately, the Moonlight Sword is actually particularly good at slaying dragons, so. I'm good like that. I'm also good in that uh, these guys are. Oh, hey. Uh, yes. Why not? I forget what all of these Pharaoh's Slock Stones do. Oh, hey. Oh, and there's a spellcaster up there. I totally forgot to check if this was a mimic. Staff of Wisdom, Mask of Judgment, Robot Judgment, Man Checks of Judgment, and Types of Judgment. I should have just said Set of Judgment, or the Judgment Set. That would have been smart. <sighs> oh, hey, there's a thing over here. Is there a thing over here? Am I derping? And this is not a thing. No, there's a chest. Chests usually have stuff. Bonfire aesthetic. See? See? Uh, see? Yeah, I was right. Well, except this is after. Where was that bonfire aesthetic that you... Because it's a bonfire aesthetic that constantly appears and shows back up. So you can just continuously use it. I don't know. Again been forever since I've last played this all the way through. Like the last time that you guys saw me play this before head, before head, before head. Sure, okay. Hi. You wanna dance? You wanna tango? You wanna do the mariachi? I don't know what's the mariachi. Guys, what did I just say? What was I even talking about? Oh lord. Hit the- I- What? I was stunned for so goddamn long. Okay. Sure. We'll go with that. Okay. Let's try this again. This time being a little bit cheap. Because then again, I guess it's not really that cheap if you're using what's actually at your disposal. So, you know. So up here has actually been a mage, which has been hitting me with a bunch of freaking spells on my way up. Which I do not like. But hey, there's a chest there, so I want that. Now let's just match get it up again. Hey! Dog me! This was a bad decision. Never mind, it was a pretty good decision. He drops a sword! First, I'm gonna check what's in this. And not murder. Not murder. Quickly Dark Knight. Which is alright. Now that Drake Keeper's sword, I believe that was actually the sword that one of the NPCs was wielding. Yes. Extremely sturdy pitch black straight sword. Colossal warriors. Staunchly watch over the shrine. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Alright, let's see how it works. Yeah, straight sword. I think it might actually work better than a long sword or the bastard sword. Maybe there is a bastard sword in the status. Uh, I'm kind of do the rainbowly thingy at this point. The rainbowly thingy is fun. And not a trap. Not a trap. All right, what's in this sucker? Drake keeper's great axe and Drake keeper's great shield. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> it's called sniping! It's a legitimate strategy. Oh, he dropped something too. Bastard. Okay. So there's actually quite a bit to this area. I just don't remember how to get anywhere in this area. Because once again, I suck. 
Uh, let's see. Whoa, hi. Oh, you're able to come down here. That's not cool. You know what is cool? Soul Spear. Soul Spear is pretty cool. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa. Am I really? Can't aim like two pixels up? Are you blocking my magic? I find myself highly annoyed. Yeah. You can take that honeycomb mason and shove it up your butt. Bah! Me, I'm gonna have an honorable duel with the sword man. Whoa! I guess it's not that honorable when he's this much bigger than you. I suppose I could have gone for the kill there, but hey. Ha! I am the wiener. Let's see. Is there something down here? That's right. This is the other direction I was just talking about. Not if I remember remember correctly, though. Oh, that's a mimic. Okay, I did not remember there being a mimic in this area. I just remember there being stuff in this area. Fight dragon bone and a washing pole. Okay, not a mimic. I always do that. Always scare myself by going, oh crap! It's not a mimic. Okay, it's not a mimic. Now I believe it's in this way where there is an extremely large warrior with a great shield. Yep, I was right. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Ah! Come on. You wanna dance? You wanna go? You wanna fight or you wanna tango? Your great shield does nothing out against my magic sword of magic. It's over here. Stuff! Skeptic spice and herbs. Open says me. Sound of the dragons is really funky because I always think that they're super close by. Oh! Oh, forget about him. Third dragon ring, which is better than the second dragon ring. I think he just chills up there, so give me a second. The second dragon ring does the same thing as the other dragon rings, except this one is slightly heavier and is a lot better. Like, it provides a little bit more health, a little bit more stamina, a little bit more equipped load. So you gotta wonder, if a dragon cannot resist the wrath of the Moonlight Sword and the Moonlight Warrior that wields it, how do you think an NPC based around dragons will, will fall? Ow. Aha! I stab at thee in the butt. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Yeah! Yeah, that wasn't that hard. So, this is important to enter the Dragon Covenant. Human effigy, cool. Petrified egg. Pet petrified egg. You bring that to, uh, what's his face? Crap, I forget his name. I forget. <laughs> I remember near everyone else's names, but I don't remember... McGillian or... Crap. He's the guy that's in... Oh, Crystal Magic Weapon. Only I could apply that to my freaking sword. He's the guy that's over in Old Iron Keep. Uh, sold stuff to you. All that fun noise. Yeah, that guy. He's pretty bur He, You give him the Petrified Egg and you can start giving him Dragon Scales. Dragon Scales which allow you to enter the Dragon Covenant and get higher ranks. Oh, great swords, huh? I've got a pretty great sword myself. It also shoots magic! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, apparently he doesn't appreciate the magic. You guys appreciate the magic, right? I know you guys do. And... Fire! Yeah! Whoa! 
Okay, yeah. If you want to keep on doing the horizontal swings, that'd be fantastic. You're not gonna hit me with those. Well, not on the stairs, anyways. I have the high ground, Anakin. There's no chance yet. Uh, just want to make sure that there's no treasures, which there is not. Now this part's a little bit of a pain because drawing out one of these guys at a time can be a bit of a, you know, right stab to the butt. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Last one to move away. Let him do his rolly rolly. I don't know how that missed. But apparently I'm cutting all him off by the horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. One more homing soul mass for you, my friend. Looks like you enjoy it. Whoa. You know, I kinda want those axes. I I like axes. I like big swords, I like axes, I like large weaponry in general. Oh, you are super dexterous, man. Ow. Ow. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. Let's fight on lower ground here. Wow. I don't know what you were doing. Wow. Well, once again, I cut you by the horns. It is the having the high ground that benefits me. Alright, I'm out of soul spears. I'm out of that. Which sucks because there's still two of those large guys and then one of those dragony guys. And I'd rather not be smashed. Um wanna hit a guy with glasses, would ya? Yeah, you would? Okay. Never mind then. Let me just no. That was not the thing I was trying to do. I was trying to switch to my shield. Nah. All right. I'm sorry. Did you think that your pathetic shield could deflect the might of the mighty Moonlight Warrior? Apparently, this guy thinks that his shield will stop my magic damage. Silly, silly, tall, tall man. No one can resist. I might! Who guys don't look at magical explosions? Alright, that just leaves that guy. I think it's only the one guy. Unless the game's trying to trick me. I hope the game doesn't try to trick me. Whoa. Oh! Apparently he can match me in blow for blow. Kind of. I don't know what you were trying to do there, pal. Come on. Just this duel of fates on the stairs. You know. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Well, that wasn't much of a duel of the fates. <laughs> Punk. Alright. That's over here, anyways. Nothing. Nothing. So, uh, you know how I'm all about the dragon slaying and the murdering of dragons thereof? Well... I ain't gonna try to murder that. You gonna try to murder that? I, I'm not a stupid dragon slayer. I know my limits. So... Sup? Okay. Talking about me, right? You're very cryptic right now, you know that? Guys talk like cur life is a curse. More like I step through it in the search of boss battles. Ah, with this we can start really exploring the game, kind of, sort of. And then he doesn't talk to you. Well, it. I don't know, there's a lot of speculations about this thing. 
One creepy thing is that it does not follow you with its head or anything. It just kind of sits there like a giant freaking ancient dragony thing. It's creepy. But in any case, though, that's pretty much it for the dragon Ziri and whatnot. Like, I'll probably come back and stupidly try to fight this thing, but, uh... <laughs> uh so many, so mean. Anyways. So, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some literal, liberal, not literal, liberal use of the Aged Feather right now to go to the last bonfire. Now, as for that thing that we got, that was a key. And it's kind of a cryptic key in that fashion. You know, you got all those other things that are like, you know, literal keys. You got these keys which lead to the unknown lands of the old Iron King and all that for those places. Eye of the Priestess, which is just creepy. Then we got this. We delve into the memories of the Withered. Manifestation of Ashen Mist received from the Ancient Dragon. The magically ancient, ancient dragon allows one to delve into the memories of the Withered. Now we can do a couple of things with this. One, we can go to King Vindrick, delve into his mind, and talk to his ancient self. We can start going around the place and uh, gathering the... You know, those creepy looking trees that, which look kind of like people? Those are actually giants. So you can delve into those guys' memories and get more giant souls for yet another boss fight to be significantly weaker than, you know, absolutely necessary. And then from there, uh, we can also go into a couple of the boss fights. Well, a boss fight that's in one of the DLCs. Namely, the old Iron King one. You know that uh, suit of samurai armor? Yeah. That leads to a boss fight. Everything leads to a boss fight. Who knows, maybe I'll just do a video all about the different boss fights that you can do. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here because, you know, it's coming to that time. And it's about one of those landmarky sort of places where, you know, you can just go ahead and call it a video. Because we've done a lot. We've slain a bunch of dragons. We've slain a bunch of soldiers. We've talked to a giant dragon instead of killing it. Because, holy crap, that was a huge dragon. Anyways... Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.